Hello everyone, this is a kind of interesting story. I was just at my local garden center checking out what palms they had, taking a look at um, their uh, you know, their palm selection and uh, they're known to have some pretty uh, expensive palms. And uh, I remember they had a washi that was about the size of this palm that was about 250 bucks, pretty crazy. And um, so I was, I was in the indoor section looking at the different palms and uh, I spotted this and I thought, oh, they're probably going to throw it away because because of the uh, because of you know the, the brown frond uh, there and uh, didn't appear to have any green on it. But uh, you know the first thing I I, I thought was, you know, um, they're probably going to throw this away, but I, I bet it can be saved. Um, so I um, asked the woman what happened to it. She said, oh, it's dead. And uh, I said, what are you going to do to it? And she said, oh, we're probably we're probably going to throw it away. And I said, could I have it? And she said, uh, you know, what for? And I said, well, you know, I I, I grow palms locally and. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've done this with palms before. I just, I've tried to resurrect them and I'm gonna try to save it. And she said, sure. And she wanted to keep the pot. Um, so, so she put it in a bag kindly for me, put it in a crate and actually gave it to me. And um, yeah, so this is the story of this palm. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, this is the price. It looks like it says 99, but the price tag is actually falling apart. It's really old. I guess it's, they've sort of just been keeping it there. Uh, and look at that. You can see that little piece of black there. Uh, I know it's kind of strange, but that clearly shows there was another number there. So I don't know if that's a two. I don't know if that was a three. It, I don't think it was a one because it sort of slanted. Um, I, you know, I wish I, I wish I could figure out the actual price, but something 99, 299, 399 at least. So this is an incredibly expensive palm, and uh, I just got it for free because you know they thought it was dead and. For all I know, it, it could be dead. You know, I I I, uh, I always have hope, but um, cautiously optimistic. I like to say, but uh, you can see the brown frond. And uh, what's kind of strange is I, I remember seeing this palm. At least I think it was the same one. And I have videos of it before, like a couple months ago during winter. I remember seeing it in, indoors, and it had a new frond coming out, and it, it looked really nice. And uh, now it's just dead. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's the uh, extreme humidity in the. Uh, in the in the garden center maybe it just has some sort of rot i i don't know what the cause is but um i'm gonna do all i can to save it and look i got it for free so i mean why not take it it's free and this is a several hundred dollar palm that i just got for free and a, and a big one at that you know um i you know i mean it's pretty expensive but it's also a pretty nice nice sized palm so you know let's take a look at this root system here uh you know you can see here the pot was going in up to here and a uh, really nice Bismarckia. I've never owned one of these before, never gotten one, because uh, they don't really do too well in our climate. They're hardy to zone, zone seven at the lowest. Uh, excuse me, zone nine at the lowest, not zone seven, absolutely not. Um, uh, may, may, maybe 9A, they can squeak by, or maybe an 8B in a sheltered spot. I know Palms are cool, had one, has two, and I think one of them died in his garden just south of Charlotte, or in the Charlotte metro area, uh, and that uh, I'm guessing is 8A or 8B probably. Um, but uh, so what you want to do, there, there's there's a number of different state like stages that you can sort of go through uh, to, to help save this palm. So the very first thing you want to do is you can see there's no new, there's no green visible here, and you can see it looks like there's another spear in there that's sort of fried. That that green thing is is, is a pod I think from another planet. It's, it's not a green frond. I wish it was. But um, what you want to do is you want to take this and and you know you. you you know, you want to give it a nice firm tug and see if it pulls out. So, um, you know, this palm's kind of, uh, sorry, I'm gonna try to get, to get some leverage. So the spear is in there really firmly. I just gave it a nice hard tug. Uh, so what I was gonna say is if it pulled out, I, I haven't tugged it yet before now. Um, I was gonna maybe, you know, then go on to the next steps, but uh, what you want to do is obviously cut away all fronds. Maybe I'll cut this thing away. And uh, what happens is you oftentimes why people cut the trunks a little bit when their palms appear to be dead um, is because, you know, that dead growth can sort of create a plug and sort of a blockage to prevent any new growth. So the heart of the palms in there. And uh, I, I mean, it's a good sign that the frond is still firm. And let's just say, you know, this is all speculation. It, it, it could die. I really hope it doesn't. But if this palm makes it through, that just goes to show these people were about to throw out a several hundred dollar, or at least a palm they were selling for several hundred thousand, several hundred dollars. And, uh, you know, I just got it for free and let's just hope I can save it. You know, maybe it's some kind of rot. Um, I'm going to give it a high, some hydrogen peroxide down there. That's a smart thing to do, um, you know, on a nice sunny day so it can absorb it in. Um, but that frond, that spear is really in there, in there tight. I'm shaking it. And tugging on it and it is in there firm so you know this is the thing uh, you know people talk about you know the first time I heard about 
pulling a spear. You know, it's called spear pull when the spear pulls out and it's, you know, not a good thing. And thankfully this one's not pulling out, which gives me hope that there's still a firm, intact and live palm heart in there. But when a, um, when a, uh, when a spear, um, you know, p people are afraid to give it a tug. When I first heard of the spear, this pulling the spear, I'm like, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, even if it's alive, you're probably gonna rip it out. But no, palm spears are really tough. I mean, I I'm surprised that this thing looks so dead. I couldn't even yank it out. Um, so th that's a really good sign. And, um, of course with young palms, you have a little seedling with a tiny spear, you yank on that, obviously you can kill it if it's still alive. So you want to wait till palm has some size. It's a pretty good size busy. And, um, yeah, uh, this Marchia Nobilis, beautiful palm. Unfortunately, it's not looking too beautiful right now, but let's see what we can do. Look, I, I, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm very hopeful and, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I might, I might trim off that frond and, uh, and, and do something. Just sort of, uh, yeah, do all I can to try to save it. But this is a pretty awesome palm, and I can't believe they were about to throw it away. I, uh, you know, when I first when I first saw it, the first thing I was thinking it was like it was like the dream scenario that they would say they were going to throw it away, and then I could take it. Obviously, it's not good that they would be throwing it away, but um, I just imagined that happening. I didn't think it would actually happen, and everything went, you know, everything went well. And you know, I, I told them the honest truth, which is that I would try to save it. You know, it, I, I thought maybe they'd try to rip me off. You know, when I said I could save it, they'd say, "Oh, it can be saved." Now, well, we'll, we'll try to save it. No, no, no. First of all, they clearly don't know what they're doing um, in terms of saving palms. They're a great garden center. I don't mean to to say anything bad about them but um you know I, I remember calling them and asking what palm hardy palms they had and they said oh no palms can survive here so in, in terms of palms their expertise isn't the greatest there's more palm special nurseries like hollywoods and vines and alexandria that's a great nursery the only one i've actually called in the dc area <laughs> that actually said that there were palms that could survive here and they have huge trackies that sell for a thousand bucks that are like seven eight feet tall or something like that anyways um just uh really uh i'm really i'm really hoping i'm in my trim off that that spear let me know if you guys have any extra ideas of how to save it again i want to do all i can but uh it is a free palm and i mean who knows i mean it's clearly it's been suffering for a while it looked good last time i saw it, it assuming that was the same palm you can see my video of it's called like i think local garden center tour or something like that and uh i think it's the same busy i mean it's similar size and uh you know the woman at the nursery said she really liked it and it was a shame that that it's dead but I mean, I, I, I don't think it's dead. Uh, again, cautiously optimistic. So uh, yeah, you know, this is the thing. If you see a palm in a nursery or your own palm that looks like this, you know, ask them if you can take it home um, from a nursery or just, you know, there's always methods. Uh, a palm, you know, if it looks dead, it easily cannot be dead. And you're seeing this in Texas a lot right now with a lot of the palms there that have appeared dead and now are pushing green. So don't just chop down your palms because they have brown fronds. It doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I, I will, of course, keep you guys updated and uh, make another video soon. Oh, well, look at this. Sorry, this is a cicada killer. These things are even feasts when the cicadas get here because the cicadas are trying to emerge. Huge, huge wasps. They really don't sting humans though, so they're pretty harmless. Like, I have a, a dead one in my insect collection, but um, that's an old thing. I'm not really into insects as much now, but uh, yeah, cicada invasion's coming. That's that's, that's the other thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any tips. I would love to hear them on uh, on what you think I could do to help this, this Bismarcky Nobilis. And uh, let's just hope, you know, if all goes well, that uh, this palm can... Uh, start pushing some green soon. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a good one and take care folks.